The Hawker 900 XP is the latest version of one of the world's most popular mid-sized business jets. The Hawker 900 XP offers improved payload capabilities, enhanced performance, and updated systems to further improve ease of operation and cost of maintenance. Powered by the next generation of Honeywell Aerospace engines, the TFE 731-50R turbofan with increased thrust at altitude and lower specific fuel consumption gives the aircraft much improved airfield performance, particularly at hot and or high airfields, decreased time to altitude, and the ability to climb direct to the maximum cruising altitude of 41,000 feet at maximum takeoff weight. Typically, the range of the aircraft is between 2,600 and 2,800 nautical miles with IFR reserves, depending on payload and winds, which makes the 900 XP a true coast-to-coast -coast aircraft. Other features include standard thrust reversers and in-flight operable APU. The new engines, together with Hawker Beechcraft-designed composite winglets, provide better time to climb, faster cruise speeds, and more range compared to the previous Hawker 800 XP and 850 XP models. With its transcontinental capability, flight times close to seven hours may be achieved. The Hawker cabin is of generous size and comfortably equipped to include uninterrupted stand-up headroom throughout the length of the cabin, allowing easy movement during flight. The Hawker 900 XP is fitted as standard with the Collins ProLine 21 system. The 900 XP system features four 8x10 liquid crystal displays, enhanced ground proximity warning system, traffic avoidance, Collins integrated flight information system, flight management system, ProLine 21 CNS digital radios, single HF 9000 with CellCal, turbulence detection weather radar, and dual FMS units with full performance and V-speed capability. The Hawker 900 XP's two next-generation TFE 73150R engines are flat rated to 4,660 pounds of thrust. This provides the same level of airfield performance as the previous Hawker 850 XP, but also provides higher departure temperatures. More thrust is available at higher elevation airfields, which allows more weight to be carried, providing more payload or fuel for a given condition, compared to the Hawker 850 XP. The higher thrust at altitude also means the Hawker 900 XP can climb direct to its maximum operating altitude of 41,000 feet in just 25 minutes at maximum takeoff weight. This ability to climb direct to final cruise altitude, together with the better fuel efficiency compared to the older 731-5BR, translates into faster overall trip times and lower operating costs. The TFE 731-50R engine also features a 6,000-hour time before overhaul, which equates to lower engine costs. Winglets of lightweight, strong composite construction are installed to enhance aerodynamic performance. The custom-designed, outwardly canted winglets were sized to provide distinct performance improvements while not impacting airframe inspection schedules. The metal leading edge from the wing continues along the entire polished leading edge of the winglet, providing a seamless wing-to-winglet interface. The LED position lights, along with the conventional strobe assembly, are integrated within the contour of the winglet, leaving the external surface of the winglet uninterrupted. Other benefits of the winglets include improved second segment climb capability, improved time to climb, more range, and better fuel economy. One of the strong points of the Hawker 900 XP is payload and fuel flexibility. The design weights for the 900 XP allow for a maximum payload of over 2,000 pounds, which typically equates to nine passengers. With full fuel, the maximum allowable payload is 1,700 pounds, which allows the 900 XP to carry a full complement of eight passengers with baggage and full fuel tankage, 
and still have the capability of carrying an additional 100 pounds of payload. Typical cruise speeds are Mach 0.78, which equates to approximately 450 knots. On a 300 nautical mile trip, a flight time of approximately 47 minutes would be anticipated. On a 600 nautical mile trip, it would take about 1 hour and 27 minutes. And a 1,000 nautical mile trip generally takes about 2 hours and 21 minutes. So, if you're looking for an aircraft that does more for less, then you may want to consider the legendary Hawker 900 XP. For some valuable resources, I would encourage you to check out our website at HolsteinAviation.com. Resources include market briefings on nearly 100 different models of turbine business aircraft. These market briefings are updated every month and are downloadable for your convenience. This will allow you to keep a pulse on the market on various different aircraft types. Additionally, we have helpful and informative video reviews and information on a variety of aviation topics that are frequently added and updated.